Hi. Now, in these next two parts, we're working with these functions f and g. We've got the functions f and g are defined by f of x is such that x maps onto e to the power x plus 2, where x is any real number, and g of x is such that x maps onto the natural log of x. x is greater than 0. And in part b here, we've got to find fg of x, giving the answer in its simplest form. And then we go on to solve an equation, f of 2x plus 3 equals 6. So you might like to pause the video if you'd like to give this a go. Or if you've done it and just want to check out your answers, just fast forward to the relevant section. OK, so uh, let's start with part b first of all. We've got to combine these two functions, f g of x. It doesn't mean f of x multiplied by g of x. It just means we're doing f of whatever g of x was. Well, g of x is the natural log of x, so we just need to put that in there. And now we've got to do f of the natural log of x. And this means that wherever we see an x in the function for f, we replace it with the natural log of x. So we're going to have e to the power natural log of x. So e to the natural log of x, and then plus the 2. Now you should be familiar with this result. If you've got e to the natural log of a value, then it's as if these cancel one another out. You're just left with that value. So this is x. And then you've got the plus 2. So it's x plus 2. If you're not sure of this, you can always, for instance, take any number on your calculator. Just do e to the natural log, say, of 3. You'll find that you get 3. All right. So uh, this is a well-known result. It just gives you that value there, in this case x. Now for part c, we've got to find the exact value of x for which f of 2x plus 3 equals 6. So let's just start that down here. Copy out the question, that is that f of 2x plus 3 equals 6. So just like we did up here, we replace the x with natural log of x. We now replace the x in f of x with 2x plus 3. So we therefore have e to the power 2x plus 3. And then we've got the plus 2. And we're told that this equals 6. So if we just come down here next, what I'd want to do is to subtract 2 from both sides. So I therefore have e to the power 2x plus 3 is equal to 6 take away 2, which we know is 4. Now I take natural logs to both sides here. So we take the natural log of the left-hand side, that's e to the power 2x plus 3, and it's going to be equal to the natural log of 4. And by the power rule of logs, natural logs in this case, we bring this power out the front, okay? a rule that you should be familiar with. So we've got 2x plus 3 multiplied by the natural log of e equals the natural log of 4. Now the natural log of e is a well-known result. It is 1. If you've got any log of a number in its own base, it's always 1. And this is uh, log in base e of e, so 1. 1 times 2x plus 3 just gives us 2x plus 3. So 2x plus 3 equals the natural log of 4. You most probably might have skipped this line and just gone straight to this stage here. But if not, that's the reason why we get to this. Okay. Now I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So I get 2x equals the natural log of 4 minus 3 natural log of 4 minus 3. Now to avoid this looking like 4 take away 3, I'm actually going to write this in brackets like so. Okay. Now I'm just going to divide 
through by 2 to leave me with x. So if I divide both sides by 2 you get x equals and I'm going to write it as a half of the natural log of 4 okay minus 3. I could have written it all over 2 but I decided to write it like this because I can now multiply each term by two, uh, half I should say and that will give me a half natural log of 4 okay minus 3 over 2 and you can use this half you can take it up as a power on the natural log so you therefore have the natural log of 4 to the power half and then you've got your minus 3 over 2. Now 4 to the power half that's the square root of 4 is 2 so you've got the natural log of 2 minus 3 over 2. So you could have quite a few of these answers really I'm sure they're going to be suitable you could have maybe natural log of 4 minus 3 all over 2 or you could just simplify it further down to this level okay so hope this gives you some idea anyway across those two parts to this question